This video will show you how to wire the Impro MDR AC OSDP reader to Impro's ITRT2 distributed controller. Before you begin the wiring, there are some matters that must be borne in mind. You'll need screened two twisted pair Milo cable with conductors no thinner than 22 AWG. Relay cable lengths may not exceed 150 meters. Note that the reader to card range may be compromised if the reader cables are long, if there is strong magnetic interference at the installation site, if there is noise on the reader's input supply, if readers are mounted closer than half a meter from each other, if readers are mounted back to back, that is on opposite sides of the same wall. The effects of electromagnetic interference can be reduced by connecting the data cable to the SHD terminal only on the ITRT2 end of the cable. Now we get to the wiring process. Cut a length of Mylar cable long enough to follow the route from the reader to the ITRT2, allowing an extra 30 centimeters to spare. Strip back the outer sheath on both ends by 6 centimeters. Strip all the wires to expose 6 millimeters of the copper, twisting the strands ready for the terminals. Wire up the reader as follows. Wire the red to 12 volts, the blue to ground. Wire the green to DA and the yellow to DB. It is recommended you make use of ferrules when wiring the RTOT2 reader ports. Make sure the wire strands are neatly twisted before sliding them all the way into the ferrule. Using the crimping tool, squeeze the handles all the way to firmly grip the wire in the ferrule. Do the same for all the wires. Wire the RT2 reader port the same way you did for the reader. Red to plus 12 volts, blue to ground, green to DA, yellow to DB. Remove the lid of the controller and you'll see three sets of dip switches. The middle set of switches are labeled Reader 1 mode. Set this set of switches to 0111, that is the first switch off and the remaining three are on. Of the same applies to Reader 2 port if you're installing both entry and exit OSDP readers. The last thing we need to do after the RTRT2 has powered up is to check that the status LED is shining continuously. If the status LED is shining, it means that the RTRT2 is communicating with the network and readers may now be installed with the access control software. If the status LED is flashing, the network connection needs to be made or restored before readers can be installed with the software. This will be the subject of another video. And that concludes this one. If you found it helpful, please click the like icon.